have Jack Skellington stuff yet? Never. Me neither! So today, we're making Jack Skellington ceramic spoons for your kitchen. Here's what we need. Ceramic measuring spoons from World Market. A food safe ceramic paint pen. To get your pen going, punch it up and down until the black ink flows. Then it's time to practice Jack Skellington faces. You can look on the internet to see the different kind of faces it makes. They're mostly just different shaped eyes along with really different shaped mouths that always kind of look a little bit too big. But make sure you practice first. Now grab yourself a towel because that will make it so much easier to manipulate the ceramic spoons. The first thing you want to do is put a line on either side of the inscription saying what size it is because you don't want to decorate there. Now you want to start a suit. Draw a giant V with the ends matching up with the bottom of the spoon and the bottom being in the middle. Then draw a bunny shape then spurt lines out from the center of the money shape to be his bow tie. Add a couple of dots, and those are his buttons. Now it's time to start his pinstripe. Just draw lines down around where you want his pinstripe pattern to go. Keep them fairly close together, and you can kind of have the white sort of wobble in and out of existence. They are fairly random in appearance on the actual Jack Skellington. Just make sure you cover them everywhere you want them to go. I put them on the top and the bottom. Now it's time to make his face. I chose one that had the circle eyes that are kind of a little bit on the long side, and then a really big mouth that looks kind of like a wonky W. And then lastly, just finish up with his stitches, or I think actually they're teeth, but they look like stitches. Add a couple of little dots where his nose should be, and your first spoon is all done. Now you just have to repeat the process. Each time it's going to get a little bit smaller, and your details are gonna get a little bit less obvious but that's kind of okay and it kind of comes with the territory and they still look amazingly cute. For each one, you want to have a different face or maybe you want to have all the same faces, it's really up to you. The general rule of thumb is make sure that his mouth is distinctively too big for his eyes. Now I used a food safe ceramic paint pen which is available from settocelebrate.com, link in the description. You can use an oil-based paint sharpie if you can't find what I have or if you don't want to ship it. The one problem is you cannot use it on the inside of the spoon because it is not food safe. Let them dry for 24 hours and you're all done. Go enjoy your new creepy friendly spoons.